I'm going to show you how to do open string bowing practice. Um, I use the first four bars of Ellie's Jig um, from Violin Works Book 2 um, as an example of how to play, how to practice open string bowing. So the tune goes like this. That's the first four bars of Ellie's Jig. I'll just play it one more time. we've got string crossings and hooked bowings to do. So it's useful to practice those bowings um, on an open string. First of all I'll just play the bowing on an open A string. It goes like this. So that helps you get the hooked bowing sounding really nice and smooth and, um, and, and rhythmic. So just do that a few times until you can get it sounding really good. Um, and then Try adding in the string crossings. Now this takes a bit of thought because you have to work out which notes um, are played on which strings um, and then do the same thing but play open strings instead of um, the notes that are written in the piece. So for, um, for the first four bars of Ellie's jig it goes like this. So I'm adding in the string crossings and also practicing the hooked bones. I'll just show you again. sounding really smooth and so when you practice that a few times put the left hand back in and see if it help, has helped you make your bowing sound smoother so if you go through um, your pieces just practicing four bar sections or shorter sections um, just playing open strings um, and leaving out the left hand it can really help you focus on the bowing and get the bowing sounding really really smooth and rhythmic um, and then the piece becomes much easier when you add back in the left hand. Playing different left hand rhythms are another common practice technique. This practice technique is particularly useful if we have groups of even um, length notes um, that we want to get nice and smooth with our left hand. So the example I've used is um, bar six of the Birdcatcher song um, from Violin Works Book 2, and the notes go like this. So we've got these. A group of four notes, E, D, C sharp, D. And we want to try and get that really smooth. It's slurred with the bow, so the rhythm all comes from the left hand. So we want to get it nice and rhythmic and nice and smooth. So a good way of practicing it is to play um, that with dotted rhythms. First of all, a short long pattern and then a long short pattern like this. So it just helps you focus in on the coordination of your left hand and helps you to make the left hand um, more rhythmic. So when you go back to playing even notes, Hopefully you'll feel more in control of the notes and more able to play them um, very rhythmically. Using preparation pauses in your practice is a good way of making sure that you start notes cleanly. So for example you may have um, a string crossing that you're finding problematic, let's say from D on the A string with the third finger to B on the G string with the second finger. So, so to practice that you may like to use a preparation pause. You play the D and then you just pause while you make sure that you're getting your second finger in place and that your bow is nicely in contact with the string. And when you're really happy and feel that you're ready to play, then play the note. And you can make the pause as long as you like. The important thing is that you're making sure that your bowing um, arm and your left hand are both ready to play the note. really good and the note starts very cleanly and you're happy with the sound then try making the pause shorter so preparation pauses just give you a bit of time to think time to check your left hand time to check your bowing arm and make sure everything's ready and as it should be before you play the note 